Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So in today's we will work on the visuals. So uh, as like we have changed the cloth uh, of this, so it was not looking great. So we have changed it. So we will do the same uh, with the flow. With we will add some decals too. So like it, it will give a, like different feel to our pool table. Let's do that. In the asset I will add one more texture give me a second so I will provide the link in the description so this is the ghost decal which I will be using let me rename it to t underscore ghost and I will make the material of it so m underscore so it will be of the decal type decal ghost in the future like you can change the decal like as we uh, do do it in the different games so first it will not be the type of surface it will be the defer decal and we will uh, make it translucent this is the first thing and we will do the alpha to opacity okay this is perfect just click save and what we will do we will put that decal directly on our you know stage and it is looking cool now what we will do one more like we will uh, scale it down right now it's one 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 let's choose point five yes and it is coming over the table but it is giving uh, good but I don't want it to mess with the blue color so let me uh, you know slightly shift just to get the tint if it is looking good or not yes it is let's check how it is looking <laughs> this is looking good and we can do one more thing uh, we can do one more thing like uh, like we can uh, like you know tweak the z value so it will not come over the table and we can uh, you know arrange it according to our needs so I will just shift it down so it should get away from the table yes it is not coming on the table now and uh, it is looking good uh, so point 0.3 point 0.5 point 0.4 let's play and check how it is looking in the pie okay this is looking good uh, okay so the texture which we are looking right now it is not looking good it's it just giving uh, you know like the jeans look which is not looking that great so for that um, we can choose the like we can choose something from the quixel bridge like uh, it will be really quick to so go back to the word maybe this one I will you know download it to the higher quality and uh, let me add let's check if it is there or not yes it is there and let me just shift it right here okay let's check how it is looking <laughs> this is actually looking good like uh, this is not looking like before this is uh, way better than before okay this is good now we will do some changes in our pool table too we will add the decal to our pool table right now the thing uh, was like when we added the pool table what we did in the previous tutorial we have added directly static mesh in the uh, blueprint side but we don't want that so what we will do we will create these things in the C++ side okay so let me click on this oh, okay it is opening the visual studio so let me change the settings first uh, because I always prefer to use rider to open my project so I think uh, these options are in the project setting if I'm not wrong it's source or the editor setting source yep source in the visual studio I will choose rider and I will you know restart now okay it's restarted so I will go to the blueprint and will open the amp pool table base so it is opening my rider okay so this is our pool table 
in the starting we haven't added anything in our pool table so we need four components let me check which are those so first is pool table uh, in which these pockets are added okay next is rubber side uh, okay so first thing what we can do actually we can join these two component right if possible mm -hmm. yes it is slightly or uh, we can do it in the future and this is the box okay let's try that out first if it will work then we will do it that way so let me choose these components drag it like this right click mm, actor uh, we have merge actor merge and we will we, I'm saving in the parent folder right now just for the test and they are merged so let me have a look how it is looking they're actually looking good <laughs> uh, it, it will give us more control over the table actually uh, because we have to uh, you know like just uh, add one static mesh in the table and it will work out and we have these okay okay this is good this is good so we, what we will do we will replace this with our static mesh so what I will do right now I will just you know just delete this and will use this existing uh, mesh so what I will do right now I will delete them all and in the here uh, I will choose that pool table the merge one compile and save and let's see if it is there or not yes it is and it is all working fine so right now it is in the blueprint version so I will create this static mesh class and will shift it here so let's go to the rider in the header file I have to define the variable so as always uh, what I usually do I will make the public section it is for the like upper one is for the variable and downward for the function so first let me define the u property here because uh, as soon as I will uh, like I'm putting the edit anywhere what does it mean like when I will click on the component it will like these values will be accessible to me and we can tweak it if you will not provide the edit anywhere button it won't show okay so it will be u static mesh component it will be a type of pointer and I will name it as sm underscore pool table okay uh, next thing which we have to do we have to uh, you know create it in the constructor so sm underscore pool table is equals to create sub default sub object it will be a type of your static mesh component and here I will give it a name same as a sm underscore pool table okay so right now we have created this but we haven't added it to the root so this is the root so what I will do uh, like we have two options right now like whether we want this to be as the root or like we want scene component to be uh, the root so I will attach it to the root so sm underscore pool table dot setup attachment root component so I'm not defining the root uh, as the SM pool table. I am attaching to the root component. So it will follow the same hierarchy. So this is first thing. So the next thing which we have to do, I want to, you know, directly assign the uh, this, this static mesh. So first I will change the path of this static mesh because uh, I always uh, follow the uh, like standard, you know, like to push the static mesh in the correct folder so first I will give it a name like pool table and I will shift it under the okay we have some new things in the asset in the models yes let's move it here we we don't need these now so I, I can actually delete it these are having references so let, let's right click and check where are these references lie uh, okay it's it just for the material so I don't think like uh, we, we do need them so I can we can actually delete them 
we just force delete it and uh, we are good to go uh, okay so what we will do we will just right click and copy the references so if you remember in the NAS tutorial we, how we have directly added uh, the previous static mesh in the uh, like in the CP plus uh, so we will do the same if you will go to the ball base we use this static load object so we will use the same static load object here we have to provide the class so is a type of use static mesh just be sure like it treats the static mesh of like we are loading a static mesh not this is not the component right it is the type of a stat, uh, like mesh so use static mesh and class static class static class yes null comma uh, in the name we uh, I don't think we are providing anything and here we have to provide the path I guess so if I'm not wrong in outer we are providing null yes and okay we have to provide the path else we do have we have to do something no okay so we have to okay here we have to provide the path okay have I okay we have to wrap up in the text and we are good so first thing when it is loading the object it will write a U object I'm just clicking uh, clicking the left button and check if it is the it is writing the U object here so we have to cast it in which class do we want to prefer so it is the U static mesh so what I will do I will just you know cast it to the cast it to the whole thing in the uh, use static mesh static mesh you static mesh it is the type of the pointer and it is the static mesh and pool table so it, it is the actual mesh so uh, okay is uh, issue so what I will do because the upper one which we have uh, you know here we have defined it is the component and it is the static mesh which is original one so here I will check if it is null or not it is very important because sometimes it is very like you know sometimes uh, when we create the blueprint side the like variant of this class then uh, sometimes it will not pick up like let's imagine we have done the mistake then it is very important if it is actually there or not so if it is there if it is valid the pointer is valid then what I will do we will assign it in the uh, component so set static mesh and here I will provide the pull table okay uh, okay we have created the whole hierarchy and we have set up the component I don't think we have to add something extra so let me close it uh, let's try like uh, you know closing it and let me compile and let's see if it will reflect or not Unreal is very uh, unreliable when we do make changes in the header file uh, so they have pro like improved the live coding but it is not working for me much okay so let me check browse this head double click it yes it is there <laughs> and what it has done uh, it has created one more like which we can delete now and here the you know pull table which we have created it is right there and let me compile and save let's check in the label yes it is there so the next thing which we do want is it, it is right now it is looking uh, very you know monotonous so we will create one more uh, decal which will be the part of the sector so if we will have to add it like this so it will be like uh, you know this uh, but we don't want that so it is stat decal so let me look how we can add just give me a second so uh, we will see how uh, what is this so my guess is the class should name should be you decal component and yes it is and uh, we will check if we have to add it in the library it is a part of engine so we just need to include this okay so let's do that let me delete it from here compile and save and let's go back to the rider 
what we will do we will define one more so again you property edit anywhere and you decal component star and decal component underscore pool cloth pool top cloth which will make sense I guess so let's check if it is already included okay so here uh, what I will do first I will you know copy paste this why I'm doing that because we need to uh, like in the decal we have to assign the material which we have created so what I will do uh, I will get the reference of this material so copy reference in the so I will just you know replace it with the decal and here it will not be the static mesh it will be the U material if I am not wrong <laughs> let's see because I haven't tried this so I'm not sure like whether it will work or not so it will be the type of material uh, table top cloth so okay first we have to create the uh, decal too and we will attach it to the pool table so decal component pool is equals to create default sub object it will be the type of u decal component as soon as I have pressed tab it has included this statement so make sure that you have this right it is really really important if you won't have this you, it will give you some error okay so text so th this is actually uh, the positive side of using rider or the any smart ID that right? it will uh, automatically include as soon as you will use that library uh, okay so next thing uh, I will attach it to the uh, I will attach that pool table cloth top cloth DC sorry my mistake dot setup attachment and it will be the type of pool table okay cool and if it is valid or there is one more way how we can write this query if it is valid so it is the equivalent to this way right now and we we can directly use this so if it is valid then what we will do we will you know uh, set material and let me check it is assigning okay so we have to okay so it is the type of u material interface uh, okay so let me change it u material interface let, let me check if uh, u material will work or not and in the pool table uh, in the decal let me check if we have just one you know uh, by default it is zero so let me check if it will work I'm not sure though okay control B okay, it's compiled let's check the decal is there okay perfect perfect it is working so okay so right now the decal is not visible to us uh, so what we will do we will rotate it and uh, check if it is visible nope nope it should be visible but it is not okay perfect perfect it, it is visible but because of that uh, you know space uh, it is not visible so what I will do we will scale it down uh, further mm, maybe 0.5 so it is visible uh, let's make it 0.4 or 0.3 maybe 0 0.2 0 0.4 okay 
it is looking good but, but right now still uh, it is quite big for us so what i will do now i will scale it down in the uh, you know x is up so we should scale them down uh, in y and z so 0.2.2 and we will shift it like this let's check how it is looking in the main yeah this is actually looking good right yes uh, maybe like we you know we can rotate the uh, behind one like by 90 degree in the z maybe like not 180 and we can shift like this okay perfect so this is actually looking good but right now this uh, you know decal is actually looking very dense so uh, what we can do we can scale in the x axis slightly so it will become blurry 0 0.2 0 0.25 0 0.22 0 0.23 0.24 uh, let's see <laughs> okay perfect uh, if it is looking good then we can uh, go for it. I, I will you know slightly change its position so it will look good awesome compile and save okay so this is done so this tutorial was about the look and feel like how it will you know look and I was actually uh, curious like this it's not looking realistic and now this is actually looking really really good and uh, like I have pulled multiple pool uh, games and it was not giving me that feel and I was actually worried why it is doing so right now it is actually uh, like visually it is really really good and I am quite happy with the outcome so let me know like what you have created using this approach like how uh, if you are following the tutorial let me know what changes you have made and we will go forward this so this was it if you want to help me out you can just you know you, you can follow me on the patreon and you can comment me below if you have any doubt so this was it for today please like and subscribe thank you and have a nice day